Welcome back for the first time to Anatomy. Now, I was looking online for short horror story games, like tiny bite-sized horror games that I could finish in under an hour, and I found this one. Now, I'm taking a chance here. I don't know anything about this game. I don't even know if it's gonna be good or not, but the fact that you're watching this video means that it was, so I put it up on the channel. Oh, is it analog horror? August 18th, 20, uh, 1984? I almost said 2014. What did I say 2014? Oh, it's really dark. Okay, we're inside a house. It's really dark. Uh, pa donde le doy, wey? Don't hide in the comments. I see you, cabrones. Better come out of there. Turn your headphones up. I'm, I'm going to suffer with me. Okay, so that door is locked. Vamos a ver por acá. Is this door locked? That door is locked. Did I break into this house? Why are all my doors locked? No entiendo. What is this? Bookshelves? Okay, we got bookshelves. We got... Oh, shit. It's really... Wait, dog, you can barely see like two inches in front of you. I can't see anything. Do I have a flashlight? I don't. Machine is away. All right, that door is locked as well. This is going to be some bullshit jump scares. I can already see it. I can already see it, man. This is going to be really scary. Okay, wait. Before I go upstairs, explore all of downstairs. I'm very brave right now. I'm going in brave, brave. I don't know why I'm walking so fast into the darkness. I don't usually do this shit when I make these videos. That door is locked as well. Hey, there's a tape player. Okay, before I play that tape... Let me just double check, make sure there's no threats. Make sure all doors are locked so no one can get in. Okay, there we go. We're, we're good. We're good, right? All right, let's play this shit. In the psychology of the modern civilized human being, it is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Since as early as the Neolithic era, humankind has defined itself by its buildings. Buildings for worship, buildings for socializing buildings for protection, even buildings for the commemoration of the dead. But of all the structures that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its continued survival. There's a tape in the dining room. Okay, but something just unlocked over there. I heard a sound over here. Uh, here we go, muchachos. Okay, so they're talking about some shit about the house. What about the house? You're just talking about, like, houses, baby, like, humans? Now that I think about it, everything humans do is structure-based. We just make structures for everything. There's a tape right here. Okay, I found the tape. I found the tape they wanted me to find. What's over here, though? That's the big question. Oh, that's the living room. I'm back in the living room. Okay, uh... Puta madre, wey! Tabino oscuro aquí! All the other doors are locked? Okay, let's go play this tape over there. That was like the only door that unlocked was the dining room. Let me close that shit. Hola. The house is one of the key elements that separates modern humanity from its more primitive antecedents. No other creature goes to such lengths to create lasting, permanent shelter for itself, nor regards such shelters with such reverence and import. Why do human beings of our modern age foster this tremendous sympathy toward their homes? There are many reasons, of course, but perhaps it is due in some small part to seeing them as a reflection of ourselves. Why is this whole game about houses? I thought the tape was going to say something about demonic possessions or something. I didn't read where the next tape was. <laughs> I f***ed up. <laughs> I didn't read it. <laughs> Probably in the bathroom. Probably in here. Aha! I found it. Okay, so this is definitely very story driven because all we're doing is listening to tapes for now. What's it leading up to? of the house is such that this analogy is less superficial than at first it may seem. To carry it further, if we were to dissect a house as we might a human cadaver, we would find ourselves able to isolate and describe its various appendages and their functions in a decidedly anatomical fashion. There is even a fair number of direct comparisons to be drawn between those organs of a house and those of a human body. Houses don't have organs. The anatomy of the house. He's com they're comparing houses to human bodies. And we're dissecting the house piece by piece. Is that why the tapes are hidden in each locked room? We are, I guess, dissecting the house? Learning about it? Right? These All the doors are locked, except for the ones where the tape... Like, we're going room by room, exploring. Is this the garage? Okay, so I think I'm understanding the structure of the game. The anatomy of the game is the anatomy of the house. I'm smart. I'm smart. I'm smart. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, dog. 
Shit is confusing. I don't like this spooky atmosphere, though. This is the, like, I feel something's gonna pop out. Okay. Do we ever get to see the house's booty? Hmm? Where would that be? If we're comparing it to human anatomy? What about the house's tatas? Big house badonkadonks. What about the badonkadonks? For example, let us examine the living room. Often the dominant space of a house is ground level, as well as typically the center of activity in a well-populated home. The living room is very much the heart of the house. Okay. While a human heart circulates blood to oxygenate the body's extremities, the living room circulates people, activity, communication. It is the room most likely to be found beating, as active and vivacious as its name would imply. The comparison is only strengthened when we consider also that the living room is most commonly the room to contain the fireplace, making it additionally a locus of actual physical heat. Okay, this is a pretty smart game. I like where this is going so far. It's intriguing. It's spooky. And I don't know where it's leading up to. The living room is like a human heart because that's where all the people walk through and shit. It's like... I, I like how we're comparing a fucking house to a human being. I swear, dog, if I get a jump scare, though, I'm going to be so mad. I don't like this. Having to walk through this thing in the middle of the dark. Can we just, like, talk about the house but turn on all the lights? Huh? What, what, what part of the anatomy of the house do the lights turn on in? Huh? How do you compare the house lights? Hmm? I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, go. It is easy to think of the kitchen and dining room as the stomach or digestive system of a house, though this comparison is tenuous. By contrast, the function and analog of a bathroom should be immediately obvious. The hallways <laughs> and corridors of a house are a brain, providing circulation coursing throughout its frame. A staircase bears more than a passing resemblance, both physically and symbolically, to a spine. The windows of a house serve much the same purpose as eyes, and anyone who has ever rounded a bend or a long drive and come suddenly face to face with a tall, dark manor will tell you that it is difficult to shake the impression that the house, through its lightless windows, is a creature capable of vision and intelligence. Okay, I don't know about that much, but if you look at the Amityville Horror House, editor, put a picture of the Amityville Horror House right here. I always thought that this fucking house had some sort of face to it. Like with the windows, his eyes, it looks scary as hell, man. I guess that, we are dissecting the fucking house. Like the stairs are spines. I never even thought of it that way. The hallways are like veins. That's where all the traffic goes. The restroom is definitely the ass. <laughs> There's a tape right here in the stairs. Okay, we haven't even gone upstairs yet. Should I be going upstairs? I swear to God, dog, if some demon comes out and it's like, uh -huh, you thought we were playing a game about a house, ah, huh? you possessed, stupid, bah! And then I would be scared and shit. Like, all right, what now? The bedroom is perhaps the room that most eludes direct comparison in this fashion. At a stretch and allowing for a bit of poetic sympathy, it might be said that the bedroom is not unlike the human mind or those parts of it which dictate thought and imagination. In the bedroom, Dreams are dreamt, passions are ignited, epiphanies are experienced in cold sweat at early hours. In the bedroom is where people invariably spend the majority of their time, though comparatively little of it whilst conscious. It's just a f***ing bedroom! Like, it, it's a... <laughs> Now that I think about it as well, a bedroom you spend most of your time in, but you don't spend it in there consciously. I'm okay. I'm just why am I like now in deep thought about my house? So what are you going to start telling me that the lawn in my front yard are pubes? Is that <laughs> going to start comparing the house next? Huh? <laughs> okay, is this the bedroom? Which way is the bedroom meant? Okay, upstairs is kind of scary. Look how many bedrooms there are. Orale, wey. What was that? It's pitch black in here. Whoa. I, I got chicken skin just now. It's just so dark. Give me that. I don't like this game anymore. It's really spooky. I feel like something's going to pop out of the darkness. Look at that. What is that? What's that supposed to be? Okay, um, can we get a tape recorder, tape player upstairs? 
This room wasn't open before, was it? Oh, yeah, it was. That was a garage. That's where I went to. Oh. I'm scared, muchachos. Go. And yet, this analogy is an incomplete one. For obviously, the mind is an exceedingly complex thing. If the bedroom represents the thinking, dreaming part of the brain, and it is the basement that represents those lower, unconscious parts. The basement is dark. It is buried. It is a place full of cobwebs where memories are stored. A poignant comparison, truly. Often the unnerving uncertainty that comes with considering the deeper aspects of the human psyche is not unlike gazing down at the swimming blackness pooled at the bottom of a basement stairwell. It is a place we spend our childhoods filling with monsters that will lay for years in patient silence. It is a place that, barring some specific errand, we seldom ever want to go. There's a tape in the basement now? You want me to go into the basement where you just said there was monsters? Did a psychologist make this f***ing game? Because it sure feels like it f***ing with my mind! Hello? Please don't let there be f demons down here. I swear to God, dog. We're going down to the basement where there's monsters, where it's dark, where we're uncertain about what's down here, if there's any noises, if there's any bodies, what are we gonna find down in the basement? Okay, I'm just going down the- just going down the hall. This basement is huge. It's not even a hall, it's like- Just following the edges of the map. Okay, I see something over here, it's glowing. Little tiny glowing. How big is this f***ing basement? Look how big this place is! It's bigger than the whole house! What, you got a bunker? How do I get back up? I know. I know. I know. Tengo me- I found the stairs right there. Ooh, tengo miedo, cabrones. I found the basement tape, though. It's all good. The kitchen's right here, so the tape player's right here. Ooh, okay, we made it. We did it. We did the basement thing. Of course, this comparison, though appropriate, is a very heavy-handed one, and often the basement is little more than a storage space littered with the corpses of spiders and wood lice. While poets and psychoanalysts no doubt dread the thought of a dark basement, in truth, it is the bedroom, the waking mind, that place of dreams, that is actually the most frightening of all. Why? There's a tape in the master bedroom. Why- why is that the most frightening of all? Don't say that's the most frightening of all! Like, I got chicken skin- look at this! I'm not even kidding right now, I got chicken skin now that I have to go back to the master bedroom. This game is really good, actually. The way they're setting up the- the horror, how they- all they have to do is- the place you have to be afraid of is the bedroom. And then you hear the door in the bedroom open. And now I have to walk through pitch darkness? Is this the master bedroom? Yes, it is. Hello? It's red. Why this bitch is red? It's a closet. What's he gonna say the closet is, huh? The place you come out of? Hmm? <laughs> hmm? Is that what you're gonna say? Where's the tape? I found it. It's on the bed. Oh! A tooth! Wait, what the f***? It is here, in the bedroom, that we are at our most vulnerable. Each night, we shut our senses to the world for hours at a time, trusting in the house to keep us safe until next we wake. Okay. In this state of extreme vulnerability, we will spend something like 20% of our lives. Anything might stand beside us, watch us, keep us company until dawn, and we would never perceive it. We can only Don't pray that the that. house will not let such things carry on as we sleep. In this way, during these hours, the bedroom seems less like a mind, and more like a mouth. For it is here that the house is most likely to betray us. It is here that we place ourselves most at the house's mercy, and spend each night hoping that it will not bite down. <laughs> the lights just went off! The game just crashed. What? Why did the game just crash? Okay, so there's a file in the game folder that's called spoilers play before reading .txt. Believe you've reached the end of the game? Unsure what to do next? Scroll down slowly. Stop at speed bumps. So the game isn't over yet. Have you only run the game once? The game must be run several times for the complete experience. Really? 
Okay, I'm running the game again. Now we're in 1994. Is this 10? Wait, is this 10 years later? Oh, it's different now. The music is louder. Did we travel eight, 10 years? Was it 1994 the first time or 1984? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. Hold on. In the psychology of the modern civilized human being, it is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Since as early as the Neolithic era, humankind has defined the era of the past. Okay, so it's different. The way the structure of mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its continued survival. There is a tape in the dining room. Okay, it's all different now. Look at this shit. Oh, dog, I got chicken skin now. I don't like this. There's Where's the tape in the dining room? There it is. Why does it look different? What's going on? No mames, güey. A mí no me gustan estas chingaderas. Yo no ando con esto, cabrones. I feel like I'm having a bad dream. No chingues, güey. No chingues, no chingues, man. Shut up, dog. That's... There is a tape in the duster bathroom. There is a tape in the nether bathroom. <laughs> what? That one. The house is broken. What? Who put the mirror perpendicular 90 degree angle into the wall? You know, we. Oh, you know, we. Okay, play this one now. What's this one gonna do? I am. <laughs> <laughs> I heard human cadaver. There is a the doors are unlocked. Where was the next one at? Garage? It's in the it's in the garage now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next one was in the garage. Right? Wait. The the next it's not in here. The next one was in the garage. <gasps> we haven't been in the closet yet. It just said the doors are unlocked. So all the doors are unlocked? Now I have to explore the whole house, huh? No mames, way. No mames. What is that painting? Oh, there's someone in a... Bed? A hospital bed? That one's creepy. It's like two kiggies, skeleton kiggies. Please, no jump scares, no bullshit, por favor. Does that look like... Is it just me or does that look like there's a trail of something going up the stairs? Okay, all the doors are unlocked. F*** the master bedroom. That's where that's where the shit happened last time. These ones are unlocked though. Okay, let me look in here. Master bat in the bathroom. Oh, the house is glitchy, fool. All the shit is glitching. Mi mamá me dice that if all the shit is glitching, then you get the f*** out of there. Que no andes con esas chingaderas, güey. No te metas con cosas que no entiendes. That was a prayer. That was a prayer, and I just got chicken skin, man. I f. Oh, f I don't like this game no more. This is scary as shit, man. I pray the Lord my soul to take. <laughs> That's what I heard from that tape. It's over here. Oh, I found it. Oh, what the fuck is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is so way tan saliendo. Tentacles? Don't tell me it's hentai again. Stop it. Give me that shit. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Nope. Nope. I am out.
I am out of here. Me voy de aquí a la chingada. Chinguen a su madre. Todos los fantasmas que andan en esta casa. Casa poseída. Casa poseída. Bendigo esta casa. Señor, por favor. Ah, bendice esta casa. <laughs> All right. Ready for the next tape? That's it. You don't got nothing to say to me? There's a tape in the living room. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go through the dining room. Because I don't trust going down that hallway in case something chases me or something. I see the tape in the living room. Whoa, the tape is glitchy. What else is glitchy? Is there anything else that's glitchy? The lamp? No, the lamp is still good. That lamp looking lickable, dog. <laughs> you ever just looked at a lamp and want to lick it? It is easier to think of the kitchen and dining room as the stomach or digestive system of the house, as this comparison is tenuous. By contrast, the function and analyze of a bathroom should be immediately obvious. The highways and corridors of the house are in veins, providing circulation, coursing throughout its frame. A staircase bears more than a passing resemblance both physically and symbolically, to a spine. The windows of the house serve much the same purpose as eyes, while anyone who has ever rounded a bend on a long drive and come suddenly face to face with a pale dark manner will tell you that the house is a creature capable of... That was loud. Now what do you want me to do? Do I have to go to the basement? Okay, the basement's locked. That's good. It didn't say there was a tape anywhere now. Now what? Can I just exit? I can't just exit. Do I have to go back upstairs to the master? You know my gusto is to cabrones. Let's go in the master bedroom again. Get. Oh, there's a. Co what? There's a door within a door? This house is fed up. Oh, hello. What's in here? Is that tape floating or is it just... The tape is floating. Do I play it in here? Wasn't there like a tape player right here in the master bedroom last time? Fuck, there's too many scan lines. I can't see shit. I'm getting discombobulated. Discom... Discom... Too, 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 yeah, my my brain's fucking up. <laughs> can't see shit. Muchachos. I don't know where this is leading to, but I'm, I'm in it. I'm in this journey. The bedroom is perhaps the room that most eludes direct comparison in this fashion. At a stretch and allowing for a bit of poetic sympathy, it might be said that the bedroom is not unlike the human mind, or those parts of it which dictate thought and imagination. In the bedroom, do, 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 do. I dream that there are teeth growing all over me, everywhere on me and in me, like cysts or bone spurs. They're loose, but I can't remove them because I have no hands. I look out through the bedroom window and I see a truck approaching. A young man steps out, approaches and enters through the front door. His body is covered in swollen ticks the size of quarters. He's walking through the downstairs hallway and laughing. He begins urinating in the wall. He spits on the carpet. He's moving through the first floor, breaking and upsetting things. He goes to the basement and stands at the top of the stairs. I'm angry at him, so I slam the door and he falls down. I can feel his bones snapping. The texts are bursting, oozing all black blood everywhere. I can feel them being ground up, dissolved and torn, splitting and shredding. I leave the door closed. I close my eyes and try to sleep. The teeth continue growing on me until there is nothing left of me but oh. teeth and gums and sinew. The basement is dark.
Okay, you want me to go in the basement now that I've heard that shit? A man with his body covered in ticks that are the size of quarters. Pissing on the carpet, coming to- the, she throws him down the stairs in the basement and- <laughs> Ah, that's just- that imagery is so f***ed up! Now I'm thinking about shit! I have to go back in the f***ing basement? <laughs> My game crashed again. Okay, let's look in the game folders. The game must be run several times to complete the experience. We did that. Okay, we, we ran it again. Are you in the basement? Yes. Immobile? No. With the tape player? No. Has it played its tape? No. Okay, so I'm supposed to go down to the basement and be immobilized? Oh, shit. It's purple now. Oh! What the f Okay, um... This is not good. I'm in the master bedroom. Whoa! Ah, su pinche madre, wey. This is like a really bad dream. This house is messed up. Look at this. Oh, this is messed up, dog. I don't like this. Why is that door really dark? I just saw... Oh, I can't say so. Wait, is that an organ? Is that one of the house's organs? <laughs> Disgusting. 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 You're exposing your organs. Why is this... Oh, it's just a random-ass wall that's just chilling there. It's glitchy shit, man. What's in this room? Ooh, I don't like it in here. This one's scary. Ah, oh, the bed is up there. No, eso es el demonio. Eso es el demonio. No, en el nombre del Padre, el Hijo y el Espíritu Santo. So, we, get, we gotta get to a point where we... I can't even open that door because it's halfway in the floor. Stupid. What's in the bathroom? Anybody taking a shit? Double mirrors. This is like some... Weird core, dream core type shit. Kind of. Go. What are you going to say now? What? What now? Oh, I got to go find more tapes now. All right, dog. Let's speed run. Oh, I didn't even know you could speed run. I didn't even know you could run. Hell yeah. Okay, so we're basically just going through the same tapes in the same uh, order, kind of, right? Right? Here you go. Nothing. Okay, nothing on that one. Isn't there a tape in the bathroom next? Yep, right here. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Go. Somebody recording somebody sharding in the bathroom? That's what it sounds like. <laughs> I'm not getting any information from these. They're so distorted now. Hurts. Who's saying that? The house? Does the house have indigestion? What does this one say now? We're in the room with the big poopy thing with the tape player. <laughs> Stop playing it. Stop playing that. Stop that. That does not feel good. I don't like that. Stop it. Okay, I'm getting out of here. That tape. Still playing. I'm getting out of here. I'm, I'm getting out of there. Oh, what the f Oh, that scared me. Oh, now I'm scared, man. Like, that is just scary and unsettling, cabrones. You can hear that bitch screaming from the other room. Oh, there's a tape right there. Found you. Come here. Nanguanguan? Is that you? There's an evil tape player in my house that's playing random noises that are really scaring me. And I don't like it. One bit. Living room tape. Got one. Haha. -ha. Okay, so there's not really any monsters or anything. It's really just like the, the aesthetic of being inside a house that is... Being dissected and personified. Whoa. What the? F Where am I? I just got teleported. Or no. No, now I have to go in the basement. Oh, here we go. Is this the part I'm supposed to get to that's set in the thing? This is the part where you become immobilized in the basement because you can't- you can't do anything else. Where's the basement tape? Hi! There is an important distinction that must be drawn between the words deception and vivisection. A distinction that would appear to be lost on you. Your purpose was to listen, and yet at every turn you have pride, you have prodded, and you have interfered. Have you not been paying 
attention. Did it not occur to you that as an organism existing within a greater organism, your intrusion would be felt? And still you harassed. And now, like the wayward spider who witlessly settles upon a sleeper's tongue, you will be swallowed. Because the truth is this. When a house is both hungry and awake, every room becomes a mouth. There was teeth everywhere that looked like the inside of a mouth. What the f- Yo! Okay, I'm- I've been swallowed up by the house, apparently, I think. Okay, that's- a, don't go towards the TV, it makes a weird fucking noise. Where am I? This is crazy, bro. I've literally been eaten by the house. I'm going through the house's intestines right now. I've been eaten. Is this what food experiences when they go through your intestines? Is this what it looks like? Oh, there's a tape right there. Okay, I listened to the tape in the basement, and now my game crashed again, so I have to go back into the game files. Okay, I'm inclined to click on the text file again, but I feel like we just need to run the game again. Because we have to keep launching the game over and over. Oh, we're in, we're in the basement. Maybe we haven't gotten to the part that the text file said. Now we're immobilized in the basement. I can't do anything. What happens to a house when it is left alone? When it becomes worn and aged. When its paint peels. And its foundations begin to sink. When it goes for too long unlived in. What does it think of? What does it dream? How does it regard those creatures who built it? into existence only to abandon it when its usefulness no longer satisfies Why am I feeling them. bad for houses? <laughs> it may grow lonesome. It may stare for long hours into the darkness of its own empty halls and see shadows. And its light may jump as it thinks, here, here's someone again, I'm not alone. And each time it is wrong, and the hurt starts over. It may haunt itself, inventing ghosts to walk its floors, making <laughs> friends with its shadow puppets, laughing and whispering to itself at the end of some quiet cul-de-sac. It may grow angry. Its basement may fill with churning acid like an empty stomach, and its gorge may rise as it asks itself through clenched teeth, what did I do wrong? It may grow bitter. It may grow hungry. So hungry and so bitter that its scruples dissolve and its doors unlock themselves. While a house may hunger, it cannot starve. And so, in fever and anger and loneliness, it may simply lie in wait. Doors open. Shades drawn. Hallways empty. Hungry. This is fucking spooky. Am I just sitting here? <laughs> oh. Now what? Now what? Okay, do I have to exit the game? Because nothing's happened for like a good minute. 
Let me check this text file again and see what it says. Are you in the basement immobile with the tape player? Has it played its tape? Yes. You've reached the end of the game when you run the program and begin the game in the basement with the tape player and nothing happens after 30 plus seconds. You can hit the delete key in this scene to erase the game's memory and start over from the very beginning. Okay, so we reached the end of the game. Okay, so the whole game was about comparing houses to human beings and how if left uncared for, the house can become angry. Like an abandoned house is similar as to how an abandoned house looks scary. It can invite ghosts into its hallway, like the narrator said in the tape. All this did was make me kind of creeped out to be in my house in, in the middle of the night. The descriptiveness of each room and what happens in it, like when they said you sleep in your bedroom and that anything could happen. You trust your home to protect you and not let anything in, but at the same time you're vulnerable sleeping and there could be something there watching you for hours and you don't even know it. I don't know what to say about this game. All I know is that it made me feel genuine chicken skin. <laughs> I was creeped out and all it did is made me be afraid of houses at night. <laughs> so uh, yeah, good luck sleeping tonight. <laughs> I like bite-sized horror games like this. Do you know of any others? Let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching Anatomy. But that's it. I love you guys and I'm going to see you next time. Bye.